You're listening to Bambino Babble's story. Once upon a time, nestled amidst lush green fields and towering mountains, there existed a picturesque village named Greenridge. It was a place of harmony and joy, where the villagers lived in harmony with nature and cherished their close-knit community. In this idyllic village, a young boy named Tim was known for his kind heart and adventurous spirit. One bright morning, as the sun bathed the village in its golden glow, a chilling wind blew through the air, carrying with it a foreboding presence. The villagers looked up to the sky in alarm and gasped in awe as they witnessed a sight that sent shivers down their spines, dragons. Majestic and fearsome, they soared through the sky, their scales shimmering in vibrant hues. The village elder gathered the villagers and revealed a harrowing truth. The dragons, once peaceful creatures, had been driven to desperation by the destruction of their habitats. Hungry and afraid, they now sought food in human settlements, bringing terror and chaos wherever they went. The villagers knew they had to act, but fear held them back. Amidst the anxious whispers, young Tim stepped forward. With determination gleaming in his eyes, he declared, I will save our village from the dragons. His words stirred hope within the hearts of his fellow villagers, and they pledged their support. Tim embarked on a quest to find a solution. Guided by an ancient tale passed down through generations, he ventured into the enchanted forest of whispers. Legends spoke of a magical flute hidden deep within the forest, the Flute of Harmony. It was said that its melodious tunes could calm even the fiercest of creatures. Days turned into weeks as Tim delved deeper into the dense forest, facing countless challenges and overcoming treacherous obstacles. Finally, he stumbled upon an ancient tree with intricate carvings depicting the location of the legendary flute. With great care, he unearthed the flute of harmony, its enchanting melodies echoing through the forest. Armed with the flute, Tim returned to Greenridge. The villagers eagerly gathered, their hopes riding on the brave young boy's shoulders. As twilight painted the sky with hues of orange and purple, the dragons approached, their fiery breath casting an ominous glow. With a deep breath, Tim began to play the flute of harmony, its melodious notes weaving through the air. The villagers joined in, their voices rising in a harmonious chorus. The enchanting music filled the village, reaching the dragon's ears. To everyone's astonishment, the dragons slowed their descent, their fiery gaze softening. Mesmerized by the soothing melodies, they landed gently on the village outskirts, their once fierce eyes now filled with curiosity and longing. Tim's bravery and the power of music had tamed the beasts. As days turned into weeks, a remarkable transformation unfolded. Tim, guided by his empathy and love for all creatures, worked tirelessly to rebuild the dragon's habitats. The village and the dragons grew intertwined, forming a unique bond of friendship and mutual respect. Greenridge became a sanctuary for dragons, where they could roam freely and find abundant food. The villagers marveled at the beauty of these magnificent creatures, learning from them the importance of living in harmony with nature. Dragon and human coexisted, their lives intertwined in a tapestry of friendship, trust, and unity. Tim, now known as the Dragon Guardian, dedicated his life to fostering understanding and respect between humans and dragons. His unwavering spirit and unwavering belief in the power of compassion inspired generations to come. Green Ridge became a beacon of hope, a place where different worlds converged in peace. 
As the years passed, the tale of the boy who saved his village from the dragons echoed through the ages, carrying a message of courage and compassion. Tim's legacy lived on as the villagers continued to cherish the dragons and protect the natural beauty of their village. Years later, as an elderly man, Tim sat beneath the shade of the ancient tree where he had found the Flute of Harmony all those years ago. The village had thrived, and the dragons had become revered protectors, their presence a reminder of the power of unity. One day, a young child approached Tim with curious eyes. Are the dragons real, grandfather? the child asked. Tim smiled warmly and nodded. Yes, my dear, they are very real. They taught us the importance of friendship and taught us how to care for our world. With a mischievous grin, the child asked, Can I meet a dragon, grandfather? Tim chuckled softly and replied, Of course, my dear. Follow me. Together, they ventured into the outskirts of the village, where a majestic dragon awaited their arrival. The child's eyes widened in awe as the dragon gently lowered its head, inviting the child to climb onto its back.